Welcome back to yet another episode of Yash Tubal's Book Club. The book we are reviewing today is Side Hustle by Chris Gillibio. I hope I pronounced the second name right. But before we start, I am super excited to announce that finally the intro is ready. So let's roll it. A huge shout out to my friend Dharmit Lakshman for making the video or the intro for me. I really appreciate brother. A fun fact, Dharmit started his gig as a side hustle but now he's gone into it full time. What a way for the stars to align or no better way for the stars to align than this. Having my intro ready by Dharmit who actually started a side hustle. Um, and that's the book we are going to review today. It's unbelievable. Having a side hustle is a good way to generate secondary sources of income. Warren Buffett had once said, if you rely on only one source of income, you are just one step away from poverty. It all starts with finding a high potential idea, which has got three aspects. Profitability, persuasiveness, and feasibility. Number one, feasibility. Start a project in the shortest possible time which earns money outside your day job. Profitability. There should be a clear way of getting paid by a clear target market. And third, persuasiveness. Good timing. Is the market ready for it? A good example is you are going to a concert and normally the parking uh, costs $5 over there. But because of the concert, the price has been hiked up to $25. What are you going to do? obviously pay for the $25 because it is a persuasive buy. A high potential idea should be simple so as to implement it from an idea to reality. It should be something you know how to do or easily figure out. He uses a nice word saying, is it figure outable? It should solve a problem, it should be low maintenance and it should generate some income. Actually, it should generate a recurring income. Then find your target market, give them value. Find what they want, need, and care about. There is one perfect customer out there who should get your undivided attention. Focus on whatever that customer needs. Because once you do that and find a solution for that one customer, that will eventually translate into many other similar customers. Then turn your idea into an offer. It has got three steps. The promise, how it will change their life. The pitch, why get it right now? And the price how much and how to buy it now. Your side hustle may require resources. So make a list of it and prioritize them. Afterwards, identify what's working best in your side hustle and do more of it. So basically, start. Done is better than perfect. Take my intro for example. I had the idea, probably my execution was not perfect, but at least I did it. And then comes Dharmit, voila, and now you have this intro. And then, once you are up and running, ask yourself a simple question. Is your venture making money? There are possible three answers. You might find that you are far exceeding your expectations. Great, keep going. Because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. The second answer may be, your idea was great, but however people did not latch into it. It's difficult to admit, but that's the time to cut your losses and move on. And third, the most commonest response, you have found that your idea has not gained that much traction, however, it's making some money. It doesn't make sense to pull the plug. In that case, just focus on your metrics and see how you can play around them. The metrics would be the time you're investing into it, the profit and the growth. So the key message in this book is absolutely anyone can launch a successful part-time hustle. It does not require much time, money or effort to start one and it does not mean quitting your day job that's it for today i'll see you in the next one